between polymer chains. We cannot have useful mechanical properties without entanglement. However, if molecular weight is too high, then processing becomes difficult due to high melt or solution viscosity. Therefore, there is an optimum molecular weight range for a given application. I'm going to discuss the meaning of the molecular weight of a polymer. A polymer molecule is a chain composed of many repeat units. Therefore, the molecular weight of the polymer molecule is equal to the repeat unit molecular weight multiplied by the degree of polymerization. So for an example, I have polyethylene here. Um, N is the degree of polymerization. N sub R is the mass of a repeat unit, which is 28 grams per mole for polyethylene. So then the molecular weight of the chain is equal to the product of the degree of polymerization and the mass of a repeat unit. So hypothetically, if we have a polymer of 100 repeat units, then the molecular weight of the chain would be 2,800. 1,000 repeat units gives us a molecular weight of 28,000. 10,000 repeat units is 280,000. And 100,000 repeat units, that should say 2,800,000. A very important point is that all polymers have a distribution of chain length and therefore a distribution of molecular weight. Uh, it's often convenient to use average molecular weights as a means to numerically characterize the polymer sample's molecular weight distribution. This makes it easier to compare samples and to set specification limits. The way this is done is to divide the molecular weight distribution into sufficiently narrow slices 